still sleeping, but he's alive. He's <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. So we're at Paul's. I thought by the pond would be a cool place to tell you about this really awesome animal. So this is a tank mission species spotlight on the Peterson anemone shrimp. So come in close on that, John. Can you get the purple? The purple on this one is really, really nice. Awesome. So this is an anemone shrimp. Uh, they get their name because they live on anemones in the wild and also other corals and coralomorphs. In Paul's tank, I suspect they'll be living on the Redactus indosinensis mushrooms. Uh, they're also cleaner shrimp. So if you look closely again, just so I can point this out. So you can see those long white antennae. That's a signal to a lot of fish that this shrimp is a cleaning organism. And so they will go to it uh, to get parasites and excess skin and mucus and things that are just generally irritating the fish off. And the shrimp benefits because it's feeding on everything that it's removing from the fish. If you're gonna keep these in aquariums, it's best to keep them in reef aquariums because they like to live on corals and anemones. And it's important to note that they are a Caribbean species, which means that if you keep them with Indo-Pacific fish that are larger and might be able to eat them, they might not recognize them as a cleaner and see them more as a potential food source. So keep that in mind when you're considering putting this in your aquarium or if you're designing a biotope tank specifically for this shrimp because they are that cool and that's how I've personally kept them in the past. It's a great shrimp. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> What's its name, Paul? Uh, we're gonna... I'm over here. <laughs> we're gonna name it something that they want to name it. Oh, on which video? Well, where do they comment? We'll have them name on this video, and I'll go to this video and find the name for that. Wow. I don't know if you've heard of this guy. This is Paul Cuffero. How are you doing? Uh, he's got a cool channel. And Dude, I mean, look at the back of our, the background here. We got the pond, all the goats, pigs, ducks, more pigs, chickens, all sorts of stuff out here. So he said, you guys get to name this shrimp. It does have eggs. So if that factors into your, what you're going to name it. it. <laughs> name it down below, comment something. Hey, while you're down there, hit the like button. Thanks, Paul. No problem, man. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all about this shrimp, let us know. And also, one last thing we wanted to share with you guys is, uh, so my good buddy Carter works at Loggerhead Marine Life Center. He takes care of all the aquariums there. They're a conservation slash education slash sea turtle rehabilitation center. They operate solely on donations. It's a really great organization. And we also, came out with this towel. It's our own design. We took this picture, edited it. They're available on Teespring right now if you want them. Uh, for the next week, these towels, 100% of the proceeds are gonna be going to getting new fish for the aquariums at Loggerhead. They just did this massive uh, remodeling. It's really cool. They're almost done with that. Uh, but this is our towel. It's a nice towel, I think. It's great for aquarium maintenance. Dries you off when you're wet has a cool design, nice little logo. So if you wanna get this towel, check the link in the description, teespring.com. Thanks so much.